Hey YouTube, this is Resolution Part 962. It is Thursday, September 21st at about 4.50. In today's video, um, as of now, there has been several releases by WWE uh, to its current roster. Um, and I'm going to give my thoughts on each. Um, and then possibly... I'm not going to say who else because I don't really know at this time. But um, as of now, there are going to be quite a bit of cuts. Um, earlier today, it was announced that um, Aaliyah, uh, Madcap Moss, and Emma were released. Um, with Emma and Madcap Moss, he got his name changed to Riddick Moss, I think it was. Um, that was mostly, they were mostly jobbers the most point. Uh, Roderick really wasn't on TV much. And if it was, it, he was mostly jobbing. Same with Emma. Uh, her win-loss record was not great. Um, Aaliyah has not been used in over a year. Um, her last on TV match was when her and um, Raquel Gonzalez lost the women's tag titles to um, Damage Control, I think it was, on September 12th, 2022. Um, other names that have been affected is Top Dollar of uh, Hit Row, uh, Elias, um, uh, just the first NXT one has been released as well, which is Quincy Elliott, which is the um, very gay person. Um, so, now I know with Elias' contract, his, um, contract was about up, I believe, or was up at the time. Uh, Quincy Elliott has only been used a handful of times on TV. Um, it wasn't many at all, um, unless he was doing, like, the, um, NXT house show circuit. Um, Top Dollar... People had his own opinions about him. Another one was Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dolph Ziggler has been with WWE for, I think it was like 15 years or something like that. So that is sort of a surprise. Um, now, I am sure there are still a lot of people on the roster for both Raw and SmackDown, as well as NXT, who are probably on pins and needles at this time because a lot of cuts are supposed to start happening really soon. Um, it is 4.53 right now. A lot of the cuts are supposed to start at 5. Um, Quincy Elliott was the first. Um, I, th I think there's going to be more. Um, I will put the entire list of cuts down below. Um, and then as they keep happening, I will add their name to the list. Um, as of now, ever, um, also Mustafa Ali was cut as well. Um, I think he was one of the first cut um, by WWE. Um, now, I don't know about Ali, um, how his contract is worded, but I know everybody else... Um, Emma, Elias, uh, Dolph Ziggler, um, Riddick Moss, Aaliyah, and them, all, they have the 90-day non-compete clause, which means, um, they have, September, October, November, December, basically to about Christmas time early January, um, and then after that, they can go wherever they want. 
Um, now I'm sure they're all going to get offers uh, to like AEW, Impact Wrestling, maybe AAA, uh, the independent circuit, whatever. So keep that in mind. Now, I do feel bad for every single star who is going to get released to death. Um, so please remember this. Just because a star from Raw, SmackDown, or NXT gets released to death does not, you need to help them out any way you can, buy their merchandise on shop, whatever, because at the end of the day, they are jobless for three months. So that is going to put a lot of them in very bad positions. Unless they have enough money saved up to do a lot of that, um, where they can survive for those three months. Um, but, like I said, uh, if they have merchandise on shop or whatever, support them any way you can. Um, also, keep them in your prayers for them being safe and everything else. Um Down below, put, you know, who, if if you know them, who your favorite star was. Uh, do you have a favorite moment by them? Stuff like that.